Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. Today we're going to be talking about one of the highest cost per use skincare products on the market, the single use mask. I have quite a few of them to review with you guys here today. I have some eye masks, I have some face masks, some of them are sheet masks, some of them are just single use otherwise packaged masks. I also have a couple that target very specific skin concerns including a collagen lifting mask which is quite interesting concept as well as some very strange and unusual technologies such as magnets. So I'm going to go through all the products today and I'm going to talk about whether or not they're worth it. So quick disclaimer, I actually did pay for all of these, but they're all either gift with purchase or part of a beauty box. I didn't actually buy any of them. So I will give you my opinion if I think that they're actually worth purchasing. Let's start with the eye masks. So eye masks are actually a perfect candidate for a single use mask because a lot of people do have some discoloration and darkness or puffiness underneath the eyes. These masks actually claim to quite quickly clear up those concerns either by brightening or depuffing the eye area. I have two to share with you here today and I'll let you know what I thought of them. The first one is the 111 skin. This is the Sub-Zero Depuffing Eye Mask. 111 skin is a British brand and I've heard really really good things about their single use masks. This this is actually the first one I have tried from the brand and I really like it. I think it did exactly what it said it would do. It was very comfortable. When I applied it, there was no slipping and sliding. I do have that problem with some face masks, but this one was absolutely beautiful. I could just put it on. I left it on for way longer than you are supposed to use it for because I just left it on when I was washing the dishes or just like tidying my flat in the evening. It was so comfortable to use and to leave on. And when I peeled them off, I did feel like it had actually brightened my under eye area. And uh, I can't say very much about the depuffing because I actually don't really have a lot of problems with my under eye area. So it's not something I would necessarily go out of my way to buy a product to correct, but I still did really enjoy using this mask. I do find like these single use masks are somehow a little extra luxurious. Like you kind of have to appreciate it for exactly the moment because it only exists once. You just use them once and then you throw them away. So it's kind of, to me, a mix between a home treatment and going to a spa because you're getting this single use opportunity. Something about that makes them a lot more beautiful and that's probably one of the biggest appeals of the masks. The second one, I had a very similar experience. This is the Joanna Vargas. This is the Bright Eye Hydrating Mask. My skin is extremely dry, so the two skin concerns I always want to combat is dehydration and dullness. This mask is specifically designed to target both of those skin concerns, so it's perfect for someone with skin like me. To me, this was actually quite similar to the 111 skin. I found like it went on really easy, it was super comfortable to wear, there was no slipping or movement. I again wore it for longer than I probably should have. When I peeled it off, my eye area was looking very fresh and very dewy and I was very happy with this product. I really enjoyed using it. Although the under eye area is one of the most popular areas to address, I did find another area specific mask that I found really interesting in its concept. And it is this Magic Stripes Lifting Collagen Mask. So this mask claims to lift, tighten, and define the lower half of the face, reduces swelling, has a cooling effect, re-impacts the skin's elasticity, stimulates the reduction of fat deposits within the application area. That is a lot of claims for a single use mask. I really was so excited to get this one in a beauty box. I got actually a little package of them. I can't remember how many masks was in the box. I think it was four. I could put it up on the screen because I'll look it up. I can't remember exactly, but I did really, really enjoy using this mask. So it has a completely different shape. I can share with you the pictures on the back. You kind of like put it underneath your chin and then it has these two little tabs that you just hook over your ears. So it is quite tight and it definitely has this feeling like it's lifting your jaw. But ultimately, did this product actually deliver? Did it actually make a difference? And for me, the answer is actually yes. This mask actually did deliver on its claims, which really surprised me. It did actually feel like it tightened up my jaw area and it reduced swelling a little bit. I do have a really round face, so I do 
tend to collect a little bit of extra water down here and because I don't have that really straw jawline it does kind of get swollen a little bit from time to time. I'm still quite young so it's not really a big problem for me. This is the kind of mask that I would use before going out when I thought maybe I would be photographed or if I was going to meet my friends for dinner out for a special occasion like a birthday. One of the things I actually really enjoyed about this mask is that it only covers your chin leaving the rest of your face free. So this was a perfect addition to my little spot home where I would put like a serum on my face and I would use a roller ball and just kind of enjoy the evening to myself. I felt like this added an extra step and made it even more special without like interfering or extending the length of that spot home experience. So I actually really enjoyed this one a lot more than I thought that I would. I probably wouldn't have bought it if I hadn't tried it because to me it just sounded really gimmicky and I was quite pleasantly surprised with the results of it. But of course, most single-use masks actually you can use over your entire face. So let's dive into those products. Although most facial masks are actually single-use sheet masks, some of them are actually in little pods or little containers, such as the Anne Simonin range. So this is her daily musts, and it's a really nice little collection of four different face masks that target four different skin concerns. My immediate impression of this mask is that it would make a really nice present because each of the masks target a different skin concern and I feel like no matter the person, no matter their skin type, at least one of the masks is going to be a really exciting gift to receive. There is a cream mask, an exfoliating mask, a mineral mask, and a gel mask. My impression of the gel and the cream masks is that I really like them and that's what I thought based on my skin type alone. After I used the gel and the cream mask, I'm a little embarrassed to say that I kind of left these in my vanity for about a month. When it comes to things like exfoliating products, my skin can react really, really badly and I can be quite sensitive to them. So I typically like to patch test them before I use them all over my face. However, once you break the seal of these little masks you have to use them right away or they're gonna dry out so it was kind of an all-or-nothing moment and I was a little bit nervous so for the exfoliating mask I am pleased to say that the mask was actually fine. It was definitely too strong for my skin and I would normally not use that kind of mask for my skin type but I left it on for just a couple of minutes and I do feel like it did brighten my skin without stressing it too much so that was quite a positive experience. The last one, the mineral mask, I was still very skeptical about. But this mask may have been the nicest of them all. There was something really holistic and spa-like about the experience. I believe that you can buy each of these masks individually as like a potted product as well. And for me, I probably wouldn't have bought any of them, but I did really enjoy this little pack of masks a lot more than I thought that I would. Now it's time to dive into the single use masks. So the first mask I'm going to share with you is actually from a brand that continuously impresses me. It is the brand Skin Laundry and this is their wrinkle release facial sheet mask. They're easy and comfortable to wear. I do feel like they do what they say they're going to do and I always have a really really pleasant experience with their products and they definitely don't break the bank. This is not a drugstore brand but it's certainly not a luxury brand. It's at a very comfortable place in between where you do get good results and there are really good values. So I am always happy to receive products from this brand. I have a very positive experience from this brand and this mask certainly did not disappoint. So the next mask is probably the weirdest one in this collection. It's a mask that has magnets in it. This is Magic Stripes. It's a brand from Germany that makes a really good single-use mask. They're really no nonsense. They do what they say they're going to do on the package. They're really comfortable to wear. They're easy to use. I do find with this brand that they come in saturated in serum. Like they're so dripping wet when you pull them out that I do have to sort of like lie down Otherwise they kind of slip and move a bit. When I talked about the eye masks, I talked a little bit about slippage and this brand definitely has a lot of slippage, but once they dry down a little bit, then they're totally comfortable and fine. You also have the added benefit of having a lot of extra serum in the package. So you can kind of pour it out and apply it for the rest of the evening. And you get a lot of product for each individual mask. They are not skimpy. Whereas for example, the skin laundry mask, I feel like it's perfectly the right amount of serum for the mask. You don't really get a lot of leftover serum. These ones you really do, but the question is, 
how does this compare to their other masks? Because the ingredients are actually really similar. This package you only get three, I believe, and their other packages you either get four or five. So the difference between this one and their regular masks is that this one actually comes with tiny little magnets sewed into the mask material. So you put it on your face and you look like a giant dragon fruit. But doesn't really matter how you look for these single-use masks, do they actually work? This is probably the mask of all of them that I was the most excited but apprehensive to try. I had no idea if you would feel the magnets working or if that would agitate my skin, which is a little bit on the sensitive side, and I was just really nervous about trying them. And my answer is that I don't think I'd really noticed a difference between this and their regular mask. So the serum base is really good quality and you do get really good hydration, but these ones are more expensive for fewer masks. So I would have to see better results with them to justify the price. I am a scientist. I like to base my opinions on skincare products on actual clinical data and evidence. So this mask really made me curious. I hadn't really heard of magnets in skincare before. So I did kind of a deep dive to really see if I could find any evidence. And I couldn't really find any clinical studies or evidence that this kind of technology does what it says it's gonna do. That said, this mask still worked really well because the ingredients list is still really, really strong. It kind of claims that the magnets sort of draw the blood because blood has iron in it to the surface of the skin. And of course, increasing circulation in your face is really gonna be great for your skincare. But I feel like you can just get that by massaging your face, either just with your hands and a serum or one of those roller balls, or kind of going to the gym or going for a run just to increase circulation. I wasn't really convinced that the magnets would make that much of a difference, but I would really love to hear if you guys have ever used magnets in your skincare products. But it was actually a lot of fun to try and use this mask because it was just so different from anything I had seen on the market market before so I still really enjoyed it and I did think it is a nice mask and you get good results because the ingredients list is still quite strong with this one. So the next mask is going to be the bougiest mask I have ever ever seen. It is the MZ Skin. This is the Hydra Lift Golden Facial Treatment Mask. This is the most gorgeous, the most luxurious packaging for a face mask I have ever, ever seen. Look at the size of this box. It's just, oh, this would make the most beautiful present. It is just stunning. Everything about it is stunning. So it comes with five masks and I've actually kept the last one to show you because it's really just like next level in how beautiful and luxurious this mask is. So we went from these like, affordable single-use masks that really work but they're very no-nonsense to this is like really over-the-top luxury spot home experience. So this is how the masks look and it's like a book. Like you open it, they're just enormous. The packaging is so thick and so sturdy. It's just everything about this is so thoughtful. It's such a nice experience. So this mask comes in two parts, which I always prefer. These masks come as a one size mask. And for someone like me that has a really small kind of square face, sometimes it can be hard to fit them on. I think no matter the shape of your face, that's kind of the case with these one piece masks. They are really hard to find one that just fits everyone's face shape. So these ones are just a lot easier to wear because you can really cater them better to fit your face. So I do really prefer when masks come in two types. You can see there's still a lot of liquid left in these masks. So they're definitely not skimping on products. These are just next level. The material is so thick. It's so soft, it's so different from anything I have ever seen in a single-use mask ever before. They're really next level and really interesting and really different. They're also this really bright gold color, so I felt kind of like a superhero character. But the look of the mask and the packaging is ultimately not that important. What we really care about is results. So do they actually work? And the answer to that is yes, you do get a nice hydrating product. However, so these are some of the most expensive face masks I have ever, ever used. They really are a super luxury next level product. Again, I feel like they would be a really nice gift to give someone, like they're really sturdy. The whole experience from beginning to end is super, super luxe. 
But did I notice a really big difference between these ones and the regular sheet masks? I do think they were a little nicer, but they're also a lot more expensive. It's really gonna be up to each individual person to decide if they're willing to spend that much money on a single use product. The next mask I'm gonna share with you is my personal favorite. I have used masks from this brand in the past and every time I use them, I really enjoy the experience. They leave my skin feeling really hydrated. They are just a beautiful, beautiful product. And it is the Verso. This is the deep hydration mask. This mask not only has everything I could possibly want in a single use mask, it has everything that I want in a skincare product. It just leaves your skin looking fresh and plump and dewy and it just works. These masks for me are the most transformative. I really feel like no matter how rough my skin is when the mask goes on, when I take it off my skin has just bounced back. This is the product that rehydrates my skin the quickest and the best of I think any skincare product I have tried yet. So if I'm sick and my skin is just looking really, really weak, I slap this on. If I just got off a 13 hour flight and my skin is looking dead, I slap this on. These ones really make a difference in my skin. But no matter how much I love this product, it is still a lot of money for a single use. Most other skincare products you're gonna get at least weeks, if not probably months of use out of, and these are just products that you use once. So I personally find it really hard to justify the cost of these products for what you get. The beauty of the single use masks I think falls when you have a special event or something that you really want to look your best for. No matter how stressed you are or how dehydrated your skin is, these really do transform your skin very very quickly although not permanently. So I might reinvest in some of these products if I have a special event that I have planned, but otherwise they will not take a place in my permanent skincare routine. If you did enjoy this video, please do give me a like. It really helps me out. And if you wanna see more of me and learn more about skincare, please do stay subscribed. I have lots of fun skincare videos coming soon and I hope to see all of you guys on my next video. Thank you so much for watching.